We live in the age of AI, and yet the movie that managed to capture our collective imagination recently is Dune, a saga set in a post-AI world that has seen the revolt of conscious machines against humanity and subsequently made AI illegal. And here comes Devin AI, the first AI software engineer that promises to tackle software engineering projects from start to end consciously that without consistent guidance or input on the part of a human. So are we one step too close to a dystopian future where we will have to face off against fully sentient large language models? And in this case, does learning Revit API, gaining more coding skills, or trying to become a BIM developer hold any relevance if the standard role of a software engineer seem to be at stake? Welcome back, this is me, Christina, and my superpower is helping creative people get the best of any software faster, or at least it used to be. If you've been around this channel for a while, you probably know that I post a lot about Revit API and C Sharp. And while I was preparing my latest video, the news of Devin AI wrote out. Devin AI is yet another large language model that seems to massively outperform the existing ones. However, what really made so many people a little bit unsettled and unsure of their future software engineers was that it's said to be able to complete a complex task from top to bottom with a single prompt. So where does that leave us? And what does that mean for the future of structural engineers and architects who decided to become BIM developers or aspire to do so? ChatGPT came out in 2022 and Lama and Cloud AI followed shortly in 2023. And while we were all collectively discussing what this new technology means for the future of our jobs, it seemed like its immediate impact was on the tech industry. All of a sudden, software engineers were not as in demand as they used to be. However, I personally think it was not only the introduction of AI. For years, low-code and no-code platforms have been growing in popularity. And in many ways, AI just further contributed to demystifying coding, as you will. However, while the world at large seemed to be falling out of love um, with programming and software engineers, something completely different seemed to happen in our little building information modeling IQ bubble. By the end of 2022, the NCJS movement had already gained a considerable amount of followers. And what IFCJS did was to first introduce us to the opportunity to create our own BIM applications from scratch with completely open source technology. And secondly, it further fleshed out the career path of the BIM developer. As let's face it, by this point, it felt like most of us who were operating in the space were mostly Autodesk developers as we either created uh, applications to automate processes in Autodesk products or when we were working on web applications, our work was heavily reliant on Autodesk Forge. This sparkled an immense interest in gaining coding skills, especially among architects, structural engineers, and BIM professionals at large. And the introduction of AI did nothing to diminish that interest as we quickly realized that, well, AI was great for standard solutions with a lot of information on the web, 
But when it came to niche solutions, it didn't really give the best results. So, so it seemed like the humans still retained their value and the AI was definitely just a tool that improved the work but could definitely not replace us. So by the end of 2023, um, we were still existing in this um, tentative balance and going into game development still seemed like a great opportunity of the moment. However, the AI game is by no means at an end. In fact, it has just begun. And in early March, we already have news of a completely different tool that seems to be a big step forward in terms of large language models. Cognition, the AI lab that is working on Devin AI has issued some pretty bold statement. The tool they are working on is in fact marketed as the first AI software engineer and supposedly can learn from its own mistakes. It's the first large language model tool that can actually be properly trained and it can complete a whole project on its own successfully without the additional guidance of a human. Moreover, it can go back and improve its code pretty sentiently on its own. So theoretically, this new tool can easily be trained even when it comes to a little bit more niche topics like Revit API, for example. So does that, what does that mean for our little fortress of niche BIM development? Should we continue learning C Sharp Python at all? And with Devin AI is in fact marketed towards software engineers. So it's highly unlikely that it is designed to you know, wipe out the profession of a software developer. However, its mission statement is to provide a teammate that will deal with all the repetitive boring tasks on a project and help free up more space for dealing with bigger problems. And yes, it seems like in this AI-aided programming age, you should not really focus too much on mastering any particular programming language. In fact, you can learn the basics and move on to focusing on the bigger picture and understanding software architecture, for example. And most importantly, as an architect or a structural engineer who decides to move forward to BIM development, your secret sauce is by no means your programming skills, I would say. In fact, it's the knowledge and understanding of the AEC DAEC industry that really makes you stand out and deliver better results. And something very important about BIM development that we should understand is that it's not so much about creating the next, next 3D modeling application that will help us create our building information on models. In fact, most BIM web application projects out there are focused on driving data insights and visualizing data for the property owner. So in a world where data is becoming more and more important, it seems like choosing the path of BIM developer has an element of being future-proof. Back to the comparison with Dune. In many ways, I don't know if you're a sci fan much like me, but Dune is a very, very special case of a sci-fi book. In fact, in the world of Dune, we don't see many technology. 
And even though I haven't read the whole series, whenever I research something, there is this thing that keeps popping up, which is the main statement of Jung is about the triumph of human will. And it's true, in many ways, the characters do amazing stuff, but it's through human will. It's not through technology and uh, certain tools. And even though most sci-fi books seem to depict the future um, in a very, very dystopian way when it comes to humans and artificial intelligence, in fact, so far, the AI tools that um, came out really actively help um, humans triumph in being humans. Um, I don't know about you, but if you've worked as an engineer, you might have been a software engineer or a structural engineer. Well, there's so many repetitive tasks that at a certain point, you as a human start to feel like a machine. And uh, it seems like AI is here to remove that aspect of human work and really help us focus on the creative as aspect of it. <clears throat> and moreover, uh, I believe now if you want to create something as a project and a complete product, it is so much easier to do so. So fulfilling your dreams and ideas is so much easier. So if you want to get into BIM development right now, you should definitely do it. However, your first question should not be whether AI tools will replace us soon. It should be a bit more fundamental, I think, and it should be a little bit more personal. Is this something that you are going to enjoy doing for a while? So thanks for making it to the end of this video and for more BIM related content, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel.